Hi guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be getting in the Christmas and holiday spirit. I thought I'd make this video today about my top book recommendations for gifts, for your friends, for your family, for your significant others, for teachers, for your neighbors, whomever really you want to give a book to this Christmas. I have six recommendations, books that I've personally loved that I've read a few times actually. Some of these I've read them two, three times even. Um, books that I really think last and hold up um, and just are really amazing stories that have great characters that stick with you long after you finish them. So go ahead and keep watching if you're interested in this and give this video a thumbs up. First up, I have a book for all of the young adult readers out there, people who are huge fans of John Green um, and any young adult love story. This will definitely be very awesome to put on their list. It's called Eleanor and Park. It's a New York Times bestseller and it's written by Rainbow Rao. Um, it's just cute. It's romantic. It's very funny. It's not like a cheesy love story. It's definitely in the likes of John Green where it really makes you think about it and the characters are very quirky and unique and they really stick with you long after you've read it. I also love the humor to this author's writing style and it's very, um, it's a character driven novel, but it's definitely very fast paced. So it's not something that you get bored with. Again, it's called Eleanor and Park. And if I can find it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or something, I'll try to link these all below. Next up for your history lover, um, this is called The Paris Wife. And I think this would be really perfect if you know someone that loves history and also is maybe a book nerd and likes writers and thinks it's interesting to read about their lives. It's a fictional book based on Ernest Hemingway's wife um, and her name is Hadley and it chronicles her story living in Paris with Ernest and his experience living with the other writers um, with F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ezra Pound um, and there are a few others too I can't think of right now but it's very good. It's a fiction but it's realistic it's a realistic historical fiction and it's just it's very interesting to kind of get this picture of Hemingway and the other writers and also hear it told through this woman's eyes so it's very very good I loved it next up for the music fan in your life I would definitely recommend the Bruce Springsteen autobiography it's called Born to Run and I think it came out two years ago now um, there's this, you know, CD that he released with it, and I think you can get um, the CD and the book in one, or you can just buy the book. Um, and, you know, Bruce is also doing the live Broadway play, and he's been doing it for some time now, and, like, tickets are crazy expensive. I think it's closing this December, but he, like, during the musical, the play, he will, like, sing songs and, um, like, read excerpts from this, and people say that's, like, really, really emotional. But if you don't have enough money, if you don't have enough time to get to New York City, I suggest buying this book. Um, it talks about his songwriting process, his childhood. It's just, it's amazing. Like, even if you know people that maybe aren't the biggest Bruce fans, I think that if they are a music fan, if they like Queen, the Rolling Stones, whatever, I think they will find inspiration in this. This is a great, like, dad gift, uncle gift, brother gift. Um, and it's, it's, it's very, very inspirational. It's pretty big, too, so... It's definitely well worth the money. For all of the women out there who love um, Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars and any of those like juicy chiclet books, I would recommend the Lux series. There's a whole bunch of books, but I believe I've only read the first three. It's by Anna Godberson and it's very much like Gossip Girl-esque, except it's told in the early 1900s. Um, and it chronicles different characters and one character is murdered and it's all about like wealth and this these luxurious parties these people have um, there's romance there's mystery it's definitely a page turner and it's also well written it's also like not cheesy romance it's not um, it's not like it's just very very good it's a page turner um, I loved it so much that I bought the next three, Envy, and 
also rumors. So if you know people that like love Gossip Girl and are just looking for something like that, I totally recommend those. They're easy reads as well. Great like beach reads. And then I will turn it over and recommend something a little bit harder. I recommend 1984 by George Orwell and you can really look at this recommendation um, in two different ways and that would be one for people who are like my age, millennials, that grew up reading like Divergent and Twilight and the program and all of the, and the uglies and all of those like science fiction dystopian books and who fell in love with them. This would be like a harder, more mature read that they may enjoy. Also, if you kind of want to challenge someone to get out of their comfort zone and read something that might make them think about life a little bit differently, of course you'd have to be careful with that and really know the person. But um, I love 1984. It's literary fiction, but it's not like a Steinbeck book where the, the author is just describing things in such insane detail. It's more fast paced than that and the dystopian theme is really interesting to me. It definitely made me think about things differently. Last up for those in your life that um, are religious, who are looking to go after their dreams and maybe incorporate their faith into that, I would recommend Perfectly Yourself by Matthew Kelly. And whenever I first saw this book, I was hesitant to read it. I thought it might be too self-help, too inspirational, too unrealistic, but it's not like that at all. Matthew Kelly is Catholic and he goes over these 10 lessons on how to apply God's dream for you to your life. It's incredibly inspirational, but it's also realistic. He gives realistic advice about going after dreams um, that would be appropriate for you to pursue, that would be in line with your talents. Um, and he really talks about hard work and discipline um, and also achieving that with your faith. So I thought this was really, really cool. It might be something nice to give to like a mother or a teacher or one of your best friends. I know I've recommended it to a few of my friends and they've really enjoyed it as well. So there you have it. My top books that I'm recommending for Christmas this year, for the holidays, for birthdays, for whatever you're celebrating this December. Thank you so much for watching and um, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this if you'd like to see more book recommendations and i'll see you guys next time bye